Good morning. Welcome back. It's still morning, right? Yeah, late morning. I've been running around, get some errands done. I've been editing this morning. Um, so I'll give you a sneak peek of what's going on. I'm getting ready to go outside and fly. It's cold as shit, but snowy, icy. It's beautiful out. So I'm going to try to get some uh, buttery goodness. Been messing around with some quads, mounts, all that fun stuff. Um, I'm hoping it'll be fully rendered today so I can put it up. Uh, a friend on the West Coast, Devil FPV, which I've known for quite a few years from the beginning when I got into this hobby. Him and I are still in contact and uh, he is part of NEFPV. He's been silent because he's been doing a bunch of stuff and changes and new kid and all that stuff. But I'm kind of like reintroducing him um, and once he gets his foot planted in the new place and he can start popping off new videos you'll see him but i'll put a link to his channel in the video that i'm creating so you guys can check out um his stuff the video that he sent me was epic i don't know what mount range or what that was but dude i give you mad props he sent this thing off into freaking god knows how far away in the middle of nowhere uh, recovery would have sucked but it came back home it was absolutely stunning super super killer spot um, so like I said, I'll put, when this video is up, I will put the link to his channel in there um, so you guys can check him out and you'll see more of him for sure. I'm glad that he's still flying. Like I said, him and, him and I go way back to, I don't know how long, the first group that I started with, he was part of. So it's con a, a considerable amount of time. But uh, yeah, so I got some chance to do some new fresh editing. I'm going to actually get some real footage, new footage today because everything you're seeing um was this past flying seasons stuff i made sure i made a bunch of extra videos so i could keep bringing you guys content and uh that's what i've been doing um i got a bunch of new batteries and i finally swapped over the xt30 connectors look at that it's just the new one no that's not the new one where's the new one here's the new ones if you're looking for the best 1s it's a little bit bigger because it's a 660 g and b I soldered on these XT30s, they don't come with them, and I don't feel like paying extra. I think there's only one other place you can get them with them on them, but that's because they do it. If you can solder, you can do this, it's easy. Um, I did one slash one and a half flights because I just took a storage charge battery and made sure that this thing was working okay. As you know, with this one, if you follow the channel, I had the battery on the bottom of this, and I had it kind of like this up you know on the bottom and flew it and it was great we're good but it it made its profile a little bit thicker and the whole design idea with this was to make it as thin as possible and to shoot some killer gaps because you know me and trees and flying and all that so i redid it so it sits underneath inside this little deal here like that and uh i wanted to test it out and i did an xt30 on this it adds a touch of weight yeah i get it but i think power transfer is better with these connectors and they don't wear out so i'm kind of weaning off of the ph 2.0 except for the tiny whoop that's the only one and that has two connectors on it that has the bt 2.0 which is basically a micro version of the xt30 i don't know why they didn't name it like the xt10 or something but i'm weaning off of so the only quad i have again is the tiny whoop so this guy's got it on there and just right off the rip even it because when they send these to you, they are at around 3.8 volts, so obviously not full, only half charged. And I didn't feel like charging, it was late, so I just wanted to go around the basement a couple times. And even at the middle of the pack, this thing was punchy as hell. Full pack was nuts. I had a field day. I was ripping through the whole house and loving it because it's been a while since I've sat in the basement, ripped through the full basement, the kitchen, living room, bedroom, and then go up into the kids' room. And uh, I was doing that, and I'm very happy. Um, flight time is considerably longer with these batteries. These are the originals. They could just be worn out because I've beaten the living hell out of them. But I was only getting a little over two minutes and I was getting a little over four minutes with these. Not that the MH, MAH makes a difference, but these are a little more worn out. But uh, I'm going to test them out today if I can. I want to squeak outside and get Doom. I want to get Doom a couple packs in if it warms up enough to try these out. Uh, so yeah, I haven't flown 
sinister in quite some time, so it'd be nice to take that buttery, smooth, flying thing out there. I can't wait. So, stay tuned. There will be new footage. Devil FPV stuff I'd like to get up today so you guys can check that out. I'm sure that'll make him happy and smile. Um, so, yeah. Oh, I got another pack of gates. I actually broke one. Those are the inflatable newbie drone gates. I was flying Doom in the basement, and I cut one of the gates literally too hard, and I heard a funny noise, and it fizzled out. So, my recommendation is if you have inflatable gates, don't fly open prop quads near them. <laughs> but yeah, they were on sale. I think it was like five or six bucks for a set of three, so I picked up another pack. So I'll be able to uh, have a couple more gates, and we're talking about outside design and stuff already for the race course outside, uh, Corey and I. So that would be fun. But yeah, just a simple update. Not too much else going on. Um, yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> my crazy goggles anyway so stay tuned hope you all doing well this country has gotten blasted with some insane weather in the last week or so so hope everyone's safe and doing well and you will see me on the next one peace out